water structures a product of balance. The city of Istanbul was built on a triangular peninsula between Asia and Europe, which provides the city a geographical significance. Due to its location, Istanbul has been the capital of great empires since ancient times. Because of this importance, this city of high population growth. The Triangular Peninsula lacked enough clean water sources that its population required. In order to supply needed amounts of clean water, architects and engineers built many aqueducts and systems. These constructed water structures met the city's need for clean water. The water was used in agriculture and also helped the city survive during the drought and siege periods. Now we can start with history of water structures of Istanbul. Istanbul hosted many nations, therefore many different rulers developed structures in order to meet the population's needs. During ancient times and Roman Empire, when the city was established, the needed water was used from underground resources such as reservoirs, wells and pools. Later, during the Roman Empire, water supply systems were developed significantly. First constructed aqueduct net water system was in the reign of Emperor Hadrian. During the Emperor Valens period, the system was further expanded, so new waterways were built like Mosul Aqueduct and Valens Aqueduct, known as Bozdoğan Aqueduct, were constructed. Moreover, the Romans built several cisterns in the city to collect water, such as Basilica Cistern, Aetius and Aspar. In this period, also Adam was built to collect water from Kaatanis tree. Afterwards, Theodosius I ordered to construct fort waterway of ancient city between Belgrade Forest and Sultan Ahmed area. Later, Istanbul was exposed to many sieges and the waterways were damaged. In the following years, ruined waterways were tried to be repaired and new waterways closer to the city were planned. Latin conquest of Constantinople in 1204 has done a lot of harm to the city and also to the waterways. After this year, the functions of the aqueducts decreased and the importance of cisterns increased. So collecting rainwater became more important. In 1453, Mehmed II the Conqueror took Constantinople from Eastern Roman Empire so that Turkish became the rulers of Istanbul. After the conquest and Ottoman era, after the conquest, Mehmed II ordered to rebuild waterways and aqueducts to supply the water of the city. Turks restored a product of balance and built a new water system known as, known as Kırkçeşme. It is stated at Iski website, even during, during the dry seasons, Kırkçeşme waterways could feed 4,200 meters cube of water into 158 facilities, 94 fountains, 19 water wells, 15 troughs, uh, 13 hammams, 7 palaces and 10 other structures. This water system, which was restored and expanded by Sinan the architect, was carrying waste amount of water from Belgrade forest. This huge water supply system had 55 kilometers of channels and 33 aqueducts, five of which were monumental with several tiers of arches. It also included water distribution basins and a city distribution network with 300 public fountains. After years, Taksim Aquatic system was constructed during Mahmud I, so Pera area was supplied with three dams and two aqueducts. In regard of these developments, water demand of Istanbul was successfully confronted. Now we get the water supply systems of Istanbul. We will investigate these systems under two main groups. First one is resources systems and aqueducts. Second one is cisterns and storages. First one, resources, systems and aqueducts. Ancient city of Istanbul had two main water resources, Belgrade Forest and Halkala. To the north of Istanbul, there lies resource of Belgrade Forest setting a base for Valens and Kırkçeşme waterways. Halkala line starting from Halkala region, which is in the west of Istanbul. Dams, reservoirs, wells, cisterns and pools were built to collect water. Waterways, channels, aqueducts and water scales were built to transport the water. Pipelines and water reservoirs on the waterways were built to distribute the water and fountains, water pots, flood plains and baths were made as facilities where water could be used. This system was based on gravity, meaning it followed the principle of flowing from high elevation to low elevation. Impurities of water, like sand and waste, were separated and collected at the bottom of by settling tanks. 
Moreover, the system should have been cleaned periodically. Architecture of aqueducts contained many arches, enabling them to reduce the load on the structure and to create resistance against wind load. Generally, water flow was provided by channels which could go above ground, ground or underground. Water gradient of these channels were 1 over 1000, so every 1000 meter, 1 meter hydraulic drop occurs. There are several aqueducts in Istanbul. Most known aqueducts, aqueducts can be listed as Aqueduct of Bahçeköy, Uzun Kemer Aqueduct, Eri Kemer Aqueduct, Aqueduct of Balins. Now cisterns and storages. Cisterns and water storages were playing a great importance as Constantinople's water resources. Since they were not at a level to handle the high population, also these cisterns were significant to defend the city against the sieges. They could be open or underground. In drought and siege times, the, wa the city's water supply was depending only on cisterns. They were built to collect rainwater and broad water by aqueducts. Near and top of hills were suitable locations for cisterns because by the gravity, water in the cisterns could be dispersed in the buildings easily. Line of Hadrian provided water needs of great areas starting from north of Caligaria Gate all the way to Basilica Sistone, including the region around the Great Palace and the Hodron. The Valence Line furnished the open systems of Aetius and Aspar passing the aqueduct of Valence ending in the system of Philoxenos entered the city north of Gate Charisius. Because of the sieges and damages of aqueducts, cisterns became more important for Constantinople and collecting rainwater was essential for city's life. The Ottoman Empire refused to use Byzantine cisterns as their primary function. In fact, they used the cisterns for other functions such as seed production and open gar garden. Let's move on with Aqueduct of Valens history. The Aqueduct of Valens located in the 4th and 3rd hills of Constantinople was constructed by Emperor Valens in the 4th century. This line carries water from Trace across Halkal to feed Constantinople from 120 kilometers away. Due to having higher altitude, Constantinople was preventing passage of water to the old city of Byzantium. This situation led to creating the Aqueduct of Valens, which penetrated the city from the gate of Charisius, transfer water to open cisterns, and terminated at the cistern of Pelexenos. As a result of earthquakes and sieges, Valens line was damaged so it was restored in the reign of Constantine V. Later, Latin conquest happened and the role of the aqueducts were not as important anymore. Therefore, gathering water from rain and underground water became frankly significant. After the conquest by Turks, Mehmed II commissioned to repair corrupted lines and aqueducts to deliver Istanbul. During the reign of many sultans, they kept on improving the aqueduct by repairing and adding new channels, branches, lines. Technical information, design of aqueduct of Valens enabled it to transfer enormous amount of water across Constantinople. Aqueduct of Valens consisting of brick and stone, its, its structure shows typical architecture style that Roman Empire used. It has 86 arches that strengthens this structure against stresses caused by wind and its own weight. It is thought that the aqueduct of Venus had a length exceeding 1,000 meters during the early Byzantine period. But today it had an average length of 971 meters and maximum height of about 28 meters. The width of aqueduct bridge varies from 7.75 meters to 8.24 meters. The pillars are 3.7 meters thick and the arches of the lower order are 4 meters wide. As a result of geophysical surveys performed in 2009, it is now known that pillars' foundations are approximately 5.4 to 6 meters below the present-day surface. Today, the aqueduct is positioned between Istanbul University and Fatih Mosque. The aqueduct of Valens is one of the impressive Roman Empire water structures in the city. Thank you for listening.